see a lot of hugging going around here, but I see a lot of younger members of the chamber, and I say younger, probably you know, 45 or under is younger than me, looking like, who are all these old farts? <laughs> but uh, the chamber is like a family, and you need to know that. Uh, the people that have worked with the chamber, we talk about the people who are the volunteers that have stood up and been introduced. Um, but the people who have worked at the chamber over the years, it's been more than just a job. It's been a lifestyle. It's been um, doing something that they care about. And that's about the community itself. Um, I held the position of um, executive director. The title was then changed to president and CEO. I held that position for 17 years. Uh, born and raised in Miami Beach, 10 years on the city commission, deputy chief city attorney for Miami Beach. I added it up, it was about 30 years. And those 30 years are probably less than the time that Wendy, you spent with the Chamber of Commerce, right? How many years have you been with the Chamber? 35 years with the Chamber of Commerce. And maybe think back to my predecessor, which will bring some smiles on the, um, some of the leaders from the years gone by, of uh, the Doc Baker. Doc Baker was the executive director, I believe, for 34 years. And his executive sec secretary, Elaine, was there for over 30 years. So what would you have to look forward to, Jerry? <laughs> um, but it's really, uh, it, it, it's a place for people to gather and come together and to do business, but to help uh, create an atmosphere uh, in a community that we all care and share and love. And when I came across that causeway today, every time I come across that Utah causeway, it doesn't matter how many years I'm away, there's this little flutter. You know, and we look at the incredible Miami Beach skyline, and then there's Mount Sinai, this incredible institution, probably the largest employer on Miami Beach, where both of my kids were born. And the only reason why I wasn't born in Mount Sinai is because I was born in St. Francis. Mount Sinai didn't get their maternity ward until later that year. But um, you know, to come in for this special occasion uh, brings back a lot of memories. Uh, we're recognizing today people of the past and of the present who have made incredible contributions in their time and financially to this community. And uh, when I uh, took over the reins in 1988, in fact, uh, we mentioned, of course, Barton Goldberg. Uh, Barton, I figured out that you were about the age of your son when you recruited me and you hired me. And uh, we had about only 400 members of the chamber at that time. This chamber reflects what happens in the community. The ups and downs of the community is reflected by this chamber. And at that time, we had three or 400 uh, members. And within two to three years, we had doubled that. And that number doubled again in another four or five years. And a lot of that has to do with the, what happened in the city, but also the vision of the leadership of this chamber. And we're here today to honor the Pillars and the Pillars program. And the first chairman that I had the pleasure of serving under was Stuart Blumberg. The first chair I killed after three weeks. But, um, and uh, that's kind of an inside joke, but Bobby Blum was the chairman of the board. He hired me and dropped dead on a tennis court three weeks later. <laughs> okay? And then I said, well, nice. You know, the guy hires me. And then, of course, Stuart Blumberg uh, took over the chair at that time. We doubled the membership of the chamber. And then Stewart and the rest of the board put their head together and came up with what is called the Pillars Program. And I'm not going to say anything more about that program because I'm going to give that opportunity to Stewart and those of who have served as chairman of the Pillars Program over the last uh, 20, 25 years. So Stewart, please come up. Former chairman of the board, won most awards that the chamber could ever present uh, to any individual and a person who lives and dies Miami Beach, uh, Mr. Stuart Blumberg. 